thing to just like spark the rest of your day on a positive note. <laughs> Brain dump kind of on a piece of paper and just find some things that can really spark my motivation again. One day or day one, you decide. It's currently 6.30 and I've just gotten up, but I'm up this morning and not at 5.30 club because Soph and I are doing a live Pilates and HIIT session just on Instagram live. But this whole video is going to be based around what to do when you're feeling unmotivated. And my first tip of the day is to just get your body moving, even if it's just for five minutes in the morning. So for us today, it is going to be with HIIT Pilates, which is exciting. I'm gonna FaceTime Sophie. This is my little yoga setup this morning, and I've got my little tripod that my phone sits on. Hello, good morning. Morning. I was like, oh, did she remember today? I hope. I was just about to say, this was like just when we told you already, and I don't just go on. And I'm like, so we'll just wait for Jenny. <laughs> I kid you not, I had a nightmare about this. Really? Last night. Yep. It was like I that you slept in. Yep, it was ten thirty. <laughs> oh my god! And then I woke up like four, and I checked time. Okay, cool. We're okay. Right. Right. <laughs> Look <laughs> at this little <laughs> bee. <laughs> oh, he's so handsome. Look at him. <laughs> gym playlist if you guys um did did our live it cut out halfway through because we were playing some music which is not allowed anymore so. we're just gonna start by just doing some squats straight up and down all right come down to the mat we're just gonna do a few push-ups love this crawling your hands back up to the feet standing up tall Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Three, two, one. Oh, honestly, I was already just burning my transcripts. Yeah! Oh, this feels lovely. <laughs> I like this one. This one's my favorite. <laughs> and try not to move your body as well. You want only your legs and your knees to be moving. I feel like this exercise is so good at just like targeting the glute and the quads. My quads are burning! This is not nice. That one, like, and really make sure you point your foot, squeeze everything, squeeze your glute when you get to the top. So bad it! Oops! Again, if you don't want to do it fast, you can just do it slow. But if you can, really pump out that mat climber. Just get the heart rate up that little bit more. <laughs> Three, you're so efficient. How do you know that? Oh my god. <laughs> Five seconds. Four. Two. One. The live workout is done. I think it went so much better than it did last week, thank goodness. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the live as well. It's over on Soph's IGTV if you wanted to go and do it. Just a great way to start the day. And I think something like that really sets me up for a super productive day. Moving your body, stretching, working out first thing in the morning is the best thing to just like spark the rest of your day on a positive note and a productive note. Best thing for me is have a shower and pamper yourself so like do an exfoliant face mask maybe wash your hair yeah clean your space amen to that this is the current situation of the house so I've just had breakfast and I think I'm gonna take Soph's advice and just kind of like pamper myself and clean this entire space. Just thinking to myself before, I'm like, wow, this is like the worst day to film this video, but it is also the perfect day to film this video because we're doing this together. We're getting re-motivated. 
together. I'm gonna go have a quick shower, freshen up, put some normal people clothes on so I feel put together because every day I just wear activewear or I'll wear like comfy, big baggy jumpers, which is fine, but I wanna feel put together. So <laughs> I'm gonna do some makeup. had a shower, done my makeup, done my hair. But now I'm gonna head over to Spotify and pop on a high vibes playlist. Pretty much just tidy up around here because I feel like when you've got a bit of a cluttered mind, it could be because the space around you is a little cluttered. Oh yeah. <laughs> better just knowing that the washing is done the bed is made everything's just nice and decluttered but now coming on to my next little tip is to just write for me like when I'm lacking motivation I like to either write down my goals or write down either just like how I'm feeling I really want to find motivation within creating this next podcast episode so I'm just gonna jot down everything that is in my brain and do a big like brain dump kind of on a piece of paper ideas in your head or you're trying to create some ideas just dumping everything that comes to your mind onto a notepad I find that really really helpful I just feel like if it's stuck in my brain I might forget it I don't know what it is if anyone else is like that let me know but this is just what works for me speaking of my podcast I do have a whole episode on sparking motivation so if you want to go beyond this video and hear a longer form of like tips on sparking motivation I definitely recommend checking that one out for this episode that I'm about to record I'm thinking of doing something along the lines of trying to make the most of the rest of the year I asked you guys on Instagram for some suggestions on what you wanted to hear and that came up so much just like you know finishing the year on a really good note so that's my vibe but then also I don't want to make it too similar to like anything else I've seen online want to do a bit of a brain dump figure out where I'm at and like what what I want I think I'll set a timer for like 20 minutes and I'll just sit here write things down um, Geordie should be coming home soon for his lunch break so that'll be nice we can have a bit of a lunch break together let's get started is to change up your vision board. I'm kind of at the stage of the year. I made my vision board at the beginning of 2020 and a lot of the things I put on there either I've done or I can't do. I think for me, like, cause it's there all the time. This is my current vision board. What I'm gonna do is go on Pinterest and just find some things that can really spark my motivation again. Maybe take off some of the old ones and create a new board. I love Pinterest, I think it's great. I think there's some awesome photos on there that are really inspiring. Change it up a little bit, keep it interesting. If you don't wanna make like a vision board, like a physical one, maybe you can just make a collage to have as your phone background or as your desktop background just so that you can see it every day. I'm gonna do that and hopefully it sparks a little bit more motivation. If you've followed me for a while, you would have seen the video of me making this one, but a lot of it had to do with travel and everything like that. So I think I can take off all the travel-y sort of stuff. <laughs> All right, 
right, so this is what I have picked up. A lot of them are like modeling related sort of stuff. So I thought I'd kind of go through what I picked and why I picked it. This one, I just thought that was a cute photo that I could like type my own quote onto. This is like a good whole food sort of like farmer's market vibe. This one is kind of modeling related as is this one and also this one and this one. Little puppy photo. These two I really liked for like 5.30 a.m. club sort of related things. So I think I'll definitely put this one on. This looks a little cluttered, but I really like that one for like a 5.30 club motivation. And then I've got some yoga things, some healthy food. This one is a photo of Byron Bay because I would love to go there. And then this one is a huge goal. Okay, so I ended up sitting here for another half hour and I was like, you know what? I just wanna create a new one for my desktop. So that is exactly what I did. I think it's cool. I think I like it. The only thing is, is I don't really have any quotes on there. So I wanted to share some of my favorite quotes with you. I keep a whole tab, like a notes tab of quotes that I find and quotes that I like. Um, and I just keep them on my, on my notes. So I'm gonna go through them and figure out which ones I wanna put on there. But I thought I would read them out for you as well in case you wanna write these down or they might motivate you. I love looking at these when I need a little bit of motivation and I'm like, yeah girl, I got this, I'm all good. So the quotes are, don't compare yourself to anyone else except your previous self. Find your fire, obviously, hence the name of my podcast. I love this one and it is have the courage to be disliked. This is very relevant for me or for anyone who works like in a space where you're constantly judged and your life is constantly scrutinized, you know? Have the courage to be disliked. If you're looking for a sign, this is it. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I like that one. Ooh, maybe I can do that. Take the risk or lose the chance. That's one I've got on my current vision board, so I don't think I'll pop that one in there just because I want to like change it. Love this one. This is from my friend Chels, and it is Today Is Your Day. I think I might pop that one on there because I really resonate with literally every time she says it, I'm like 100% preach that. I love this next one, and it is The Grass Is Greener Where You Water It. By far my all time favorite is one day or day one, you decide. Life is not as serious as the mind makes it out to be. And this one is the shortest of them all and it's just, I can. Hustle until your haters ask if you're hiring. And this next one, I think I had like a dream about it and I woke up and I wrote it down being like, oh, this one's really good. Um, so this is from my dream, so you're welcome. Do not break to break down, break to break through. So I am very thankful for my dream for coming up with that one. <laughs> this is how it looks. Obviously the YouTube plaque, I've just kind of made it myself and you know, put the 100,000 subscriber little thing on there. Photo shoot sort of inspo. We've got Byron Bay, we've got my friends, we've got the little puppy, some yoga, 5.30 club, food, food, and handstands. I think that's just a really good time and I can't wait to open my computer and see that every day. So I've just written find your fire and thanks Chell. So I've written today is your day up here too. And I love it. Oh, we are all set up. I'm feeling so much better. I can't even tell you. Like with this new background, I'm just like, instantly put in such a good mood. My next tip is to do something you just love. And for me, that is recording podcast episodes. I know like once I finish recording, I just like, I feel so inspired and so happy. Just gives me such a big rush of joy. So find what makes you extremely happy, whether that's even just going for like a beach walk or, you know, watching a particular TV show. Just do something that's really good for your soul. But for me, 
Recording podcasts sets my soul on fire. And usually before I sit down to record, I put on my favorite song ever, just like a good hype song to get me in the mood and to get me like super excited. I used to also do this before I went into my casual job to give me the motivation to get out of the car and go to my casual jobs. I would put on this song, I would have a jam out by myself in the car and I'd feel so much better and be like, yeah, this shift is gonna be so great. Find that song that just sparks joy. Make the rest of 2020 count because I think there is a lot of negativity in the news and everything and constantly on social media or in real life I'm hearing people say like could 2020 get any worse? This is the worst year ever. I'll start again January 1st, 2021. The reality is, is we can only truly live in the moment. We don't even know if we're gonna get it tomorrow, so may as well make the most of it now. There's literally no better time than now to start doing the things you've always wanted to do and that you've kind of just like disregarded because 2020 is supposedly a write-off year. I totally get that this year has been an absolute show but there are so many positives that have come out of the experiences that we've all gone through this whole episode is just going to kind of reflect that and i hope it turns out the way that i kind of envision it too but we'll see how we go 